Welcome to the Austro Adventures 2021 Highlight Reel. 2021 was a crazy year, a lot of ups, a few downs, but mostly good times. I met some amazing people, I went to some amazing places, and yeah, had an awesome time. I guess the whole year was a highlight to me. Every single video was kind of like a highlight of Austro Adventures, but there are a few things that did definitely stand out. In this episode, I'm gonna run through my five best moments of the year, 2021, and play back all the good footage that you guys missed out on. Might be diving, spearfishing, fishing, who knows, but there was a lot of moments that you guys missed out on and just didn't make an episode that definitely were worthy of an episode. So let's get straight into it. My fifth top moment of the year was skydiving with dad. I'll put a link to every episode up here and down below actually in the description so you guys can watch it if you did miss out on one of the episodes through the year. I moved up to Wollongong for half the year to start uni until it got cancelled and I had to do it online so I moved back home. But for half the year I was up in Wollongong. Dad came up for one weekend, came to see me and I suggested we go skydiving and he was all for it and we paid it that day and we went and did it that day he was up. It was the most spontaneous thing I think I or Dad's ever done and yeah I'll put some highlights up now. It was a great time. Thanks Dad for coming. Thanks Dad for doing it with me and Thanks, Dad, for paying, I guess. <laughs> Come to the garden, darling, I will wait for you. Here I will sit till morning like true lovers do. Come to the garden, darling, I will wait for you. Here I will sit till morning like true lovers do. Dad and I had an awesome time skydiving. I doubt Dad will ever do it again. I might do it one more time maybe, but yeah, it's if you haven't done it, it's a great thing to do. It's a bit, it's a bit pricey, but honestly, it's one of the best things ever. The thrill and the just oh, the shock, I guess, of falling out of, out of the sky it was just crazy. I caught a fair few very big fish this year. The elephant tuna run at home was just crazy. And for me, it was probably the best couple months of my life chasing those fish. Like I said, I caught a fair few fish this year, but the first one definitely stood out. It's kind of like losing your virginity. Might not be the most experienced time of your life and it might not be the best one you ever catch, but the first one you remember forever. I caught my first yellowfin tuna this year with a good mate, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, again, for taking me out that day and putting me onto this fish because for me, it was something I'll never forget. And to fight a fish with that much strength and that much power was just unbelievable. Finally, finally, finally! Yeah! <laughs> That's the way. Do we slow down a bit? Yeah, slow down. What's the time? Oh, I'm going to head check. Half hour in. Hey? Half an hour in. Already? Yeah. <laughs> It feels like 10 minutes. Go right, go right. Leader, 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 leader. Gap, 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 gap. Ox. Second gaff. Where's another gaff? This in the head as well. I'm trying to pick it up. Yes. Yes. Watch it when it comes in. Watch it. Watch it trying to fall. Yes! Woohoo! That's a big. That's yes! Woohoo! 
<laughs> yeah, boys! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, thank you, Ryan, bro. <laughs> First year, I mean, wow, that is big. Yes! As you saw, the excitement and the thrill of that fish was just amazing. I couldn't really contain myself. I swore a little bit, but you know, it just doesn't get better than that fishing wise. That brings us to my third top moment of the year. And this was actually one of the first episodes of 2021. A lot of you might've missed it because I know I have a lot of new followers this year, but it was my first dolphin fish on the spear. As I was growing up, dolphin fish was one of those fish you kind of think you'll never get. And they're an amazing looking animal. They grow really fast and they're just tastes so damn good you can't really get dolphin fish where i live unless you have a boat or unless you know people with boat because you've got to go out deep and you've got to spear the fads or just usually go pretty deep i took my mate ollie who actually lives in tasmania now out to the fad it was I think it was my fourth trip to the fad and i jumped in first and within 15 minutes i speared my first dolphin fish the excitement of this episode was probably just as much as the elephant tuna it was an amazing catch for me and I've only speared two in my whole life, so yeah, hopefully this year we can get a few more, but just the first one, I'll never forget. <laughs> you champion! Woo! <laughs> My first dolly! No way! He's not bad size, like he's not tiny. <laughs> Trophy fish, mate. Trophy <laughs> fish. <laughs> you gotta get one now, mate. <laughs> I gotta get one. Are they there? Yeah. Phew! How's that one? Thank you, Ollie, for coming with me. I know Ollie didn't get one, but hopefully if he ever comes back to New South Wales, I can put him onto one for coming out with me that day and sharing the stoke with me. Anyway, that brings us to my second top moment of the year. My second best moment of the year was one of my last episodes of the year. I think it might've been my last, actually. I caught one of a dream fish for me, a 71 centimeter snapper. I never really thought I'd get over 65 centimeters and I do want to get bigger. I know 71 isn't that big compared to a lot of snapper that grow to meter plus and that is a dream of mine. But for me to catch a fish of this size around here and to let it go with a tag in it was just amazing. Oh. <laughs> Boys, we are on. What the f What the f Oh my god, this is a dog! <laughs> I can't believe I just got that on video. What the hell? <laughs> That's going straight on the YouTube episode, straight from Snapchat. Oh, he's trying to reef me. He's trying to reef me. Oh, <laughs> this is a good fish. This is a good fish! <laughs> this is a big fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, this is the one I've been wanting. Oh my god. Oh my god, boys, boys, boys. What? <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the fish of a lifetime. Wow. <laughs> See you, buddy. Look at him just cruising. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. That fish made me scream, it made me lose my mind. I didn't know whether to keep it or release it, but to see it swim down was just amazing. I know it was a bit tricky to make it swim down. A lot of fish that size don't actually swim down. They're just exhausted, they're too old and you have to keep them. But fingers crossed, someone will catch it that will give me a bit of peace of mind that he did swim down, he did make it, but I'm pretty sure he did. Anyway, let's bring it. Number one, best moment of the year. Before I say this, I just wanna say, if you enjoy my episodes and you do wanna support me, the best thing you can do is watch the episode, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Every episode that takes my episodes to YouTube and says, yeah, it's a, it's a good episode and they show it to more people. I get more subscribers and more people get to share the stake of Offshore Adventures. If you do want to support more, you can grab some merch at www.offshoreadventures.com.au and I do have a Patreon account, Offshore Adventures. The links are below. 
the Patreon might not stay out for much longer because there isn't many people doing that. But yeah, if you want to support that way, that's just amazing. And yeah, I thank you a lot. My best moment of the year, 2021. I think most people know it, but it's catching big yellowfin tuna on my own boat. This was just crazy. Thank you, Jed, for convincing me to go and <laughs> nagging me for three days straight to just take my boat up. And yeah, we caught some amazing fish during that month of October and yeah it's just still if we don't get those fish in 50 more years you know at least we did it that year and I'm gonna be grateful that I got to experience that kind of fishing at this young of an age I guess I don't want to see you I don't want to fear you tonight you don't want to know me you just want to make sure you're right Those tuna were just enormous. I've never seen that much power and just, it was an amazing display of nature seeing those fish bust up, eating bait fish non-stop throughout the day. Just, oh, it was just crazy. I can't really describe it without you being there and seeing it, but that's just something, you know, you just gotta be there to see it. And it just makes you, oh, see, I'm speechless and I'm just thinking about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they're my top five moments of the year and like i said every moment this year on offshore adventures was a highlight but those are my top five it's starting to piss down but anyway let's get into it unseen footage you guys missed out on a lot of footage and i usually just upload once a week and then i go on a break usually once a year for a couple months there were a couple sick episodes that didn't make it onto offshore adventures that definitely deserved an episode but they just put into the archives and never to be seen again except for today. Jed and I went for a dive coming into summer and we got some good fish, good craze. I'll roll back that footage now. Enjoy it. Through the sun rays. 
Next up on the unseen footage is the day I went out to catch my first yellowfin tuna solo. I didn't manage to do it, but I did lose a fish. I don't think anyone else hooked up that day, so I was pretty lucky to even hook a fish. It is going to be a task I'm going to try this year. I like setting goals, and that is one I want to do, catch a big yellowfin tuna all by myself, catch it, gaff it, get it on deck just by myself. But here's some footage of me losing one which is still a good time. Today I'm solo tuna fishing. It's been a goal of mine for a while to try and get a tuna by myself. Today's the first day I've actually thought, all right, let's go, let's go by myself. And yeah, it's probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done, but I'll probably pick the worst day I could probably do it. But we're out here now, so we might as well give it a go. The lures are in, got three rods. That's about as much as you can do when you're by yourself. If you had autopilot, maybe you could probably run four or five, but then if you hook one, it's a lot of ro rods you gotta get in before you can wind the fish in. So I'm just running the three, that's all I've actually got at the moment anyway, in terms of game fishing gear. And I've got my Saragossa in case I see any bust ups. But yeah, wish me luck. I'm not feeling very hopeful, but you never know. I probably picked the worst possible day to take the boat out solo and <laughs> try and catch a tuna, but in the end of the day, it all went well and it ended up being a glass off, but during the morning it was pissing down, was rough, I had my life jacket on for half the morning because I thought I was gonna go overboard, but you know, we didn't go overboard, I'm still here and your beauty is safe and sound in the driveway. The next bit of unseen footage was the day Jed and I also chased yellowfin and we took it out during the middle of the day and Ended up losing a few fish and seeing some crazy bust ups. And we ended up getting stuck in some crazy westerly wind just coming straight at us. And that was probably the worst time of my life coming back in with Jed. It's probably the most smashed I've ever been on any boat. Just coming in on a strong westerly wind. It was hectic, but we got in safe and sound. Your beauty was a bit battered, but we got in with no fish on deck, but it was still an awesome time. They are blowing up everywhere to the left, oh my God. Wow. Shit. There is so many fish here and they've been blown up for a good two minutes straight now. Wow, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys will be able to see this on the GoPro. The GoPro is zoomed back so far and you can still be able to see the splashes. Oh my god. Cast! Cast! This is it! Oh my god, I saw the elephant! Oh, yeah, it was a little one, but still. Oh, you see that one? Tuna frenzy.
So for the rest of the episode, I'm not going to speak anymore. There's a lot of unseen footage, diving, fishing, spear fishing. who knows what there is, but there's heaps coming for you. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you do want to support, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe on the episode and get some merch, offshoreadventures.com.au. I'll see you next time. Thank you for the awesome year, and hopefully 2022 will be bigger and better for everyone as well as myself. Phew. you in my sight I keep all the words you said to me I get you, get you, get you, get you on your knees Rewrite all the things you said that I should be I'll get you, get you, get you now you beg me please Hey Now I stay away You were never meant to save me Now I stay away I'll hear you say you so It might be illegal for a feed. Yeah. <laughs>